Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will discuss thrombostopenia in pregnancies. What is gestational thrombostopenia? Gestational thrombostopenia is also known as incidental thrombostopenia. Thrombostopenia of pregnancy is seen 5 to 10 persons at and is common in a benign and self-limiting situation. Hence, extra evaluation and management are not necessary. Platelet count is commonly above 100,000 in 99% of pregnant women with gestational thrombostopenia. Platelet count may decrease as gestational weeks progresses. Gestational thrombostopenia occurs due to hemodulation and increased clearance and has some special features. First of all, gestational thrombostopenia should appear only in a period of pregnancy and then and after perperium. Pregnant women with gestational thrombostopenia do not have any history of thrombostopenia without pregnancy. The risk of gestational thrombostopenia is higher in a pregnant woman if she has had a history of gestational thrombostopenia in her previous pregnancy. These patients are asymptomatic concerning bleeding and bruising and neonates often have a low risk for thrombostopenia. Gestational thrombostopenia can be diagnosed only after exclusion other causes. When the platelet count is below 100,000, other causes of thrombostopenia should be researched. The treatment of gestational thrombostopenia is commonly unnecessary and immunoglobulins and glucocorticoids are not useful. However, platelet counts should be controlled more often every 1 to 2 weeks after diagnosis and it should be evaluated again 1 or 2 months after preparing. Other reasons should be considered in all contrary situations. We talked about gestational thrombostopenia. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.